respected judges and my dear friends, the women of the world. Myself, Kiran Peter, from St. Jude's Church, Khargon of Kanwa Diocese. As we hear in 1 Corinthians 4, Paul wishes his friends with the loving greetings of Jesus. I would like to wish you with the same kind of blessing, with the warmth and love of Jesus. Good morning, good people, may the Lord be with you and may he bless your day. So here my today's topic is women of the gospel. I have taken a woman from the gospel and I define it. A person who knows cultural, social context of the gospel and understands is the woman of the gospel. I have taken Priscilla as a today's topic. And here I am going to speak about some of her characters which will give us so enthusiasm to practice our own faiths. Here Priscilla finds purpose in her life. We hear this one in Isaiah 41, 49 and 9. Here, before I was born, he knew me and he called me. After her marriage, Prisca or Priscilla takes her job very seriously the trade of a family, but she gets called within the call. It reminds me of the Mother Teresa's call within the call. When Paul becomes her mentor, she wholeheartedly shifts her attention to the preaching of the gospel and the trade becomes the secondary. She had been a knowledgeable person and therefore she was a teacher and preacher. When once she hears Apollo teaching boldly in a synagogue, about the baptism of John, she calls him aside and tells him the very way of the God's preaching very accurately. And we see the reference in Acts 18.25. And from then onward, Apollo start teaching of the baptism of Jesus. And we see the reference Acts 18.26. She is also known as the author of the book called Hebrews. In Matthew 22, 37, we hear the greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. As she being as a very hospitable person, she allowed Paul to live in their own home. And not only Paul, but other churches also to have worship. Paul stayed there. 18 months and in Roman he says or Roman 16 4 he says for my sake they risk their own lives as a human beings we go through the first frustrations here when the Claudius Caesar announces the decree that all the Jewish people should go away from the Roman Empire and Priscilla being having uh, uh, citizenship. She leaves the well-established business and goes away. She sees uh, blessings there. She sees opportunities of spreading the God's gospel in the other world of the place where God is not known. And that we find Timothy says in 4.2, in the letter of St. Paul to Timothy 4.2, he says, in season and out of season she spread the gospel and he's very grateful to Priscilla. Uh, Priscilla originally is, uh, comes from the uh, language of uh, uh, Italy. And so here he is very grateful. And he says not only the uh, he, but the entire Gentile will be also grateful to her for the, her great work. And he says, he's going, he says thank you to her. I thank my God each time I think of you and when I pray for you, I pray with the joy. She also knew the art of management. She could keep a striking balance between her business and the preaching of the gospel. And she did it till the last moment of her death. 
So here, as we celebrate the Women's Day 2021, I wish you a very happy Women's Day and suggest you a few points for your meditation. Read the Holy Bible and preach it whenever it is possible. Find purpose in being and doing. Keep open your heart for the people, especially for the needy. Pray constantly in a faith. And as I wind up my speech, I read out in 1 Corinthians 10.31, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the greater glory of the God. Thank you and have a good day.